Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Jen, where I share some of my simple, tasty, and healthy meals with you that have helped me lose 63 pounds so far. Today I'm cooking one of my favorites, turkey tacos. I love them because they're so quick and easy. They take no more than 15 or 20 minutes, and they're yummy. And who doesn't love that combo? It prevents me from going to get fast food, which is what I always did in the past. So I hope you enjoy. Made my own sound effects. Okay. So I'm gonna start off getting my turkey ready. I use extra lean ground turkey, uh, mostly from Costco, but you can get it anywhere you'd like. And I have my pan at about medium to medium high heat, and I'm gonna throw this on now. So I used two packages of turkey because Jim and I like to have dinner and then lunches the next day and even if there's more leftovers that's always great to make a taco salad and I use ground turkey rather than beef I mean sometimes I do have ground beef in the fridge uh, in the freezer so I'll use it sometimes but when I do use it once it's all cooked and water's absorbed and everything it's still left with so much excess oil like I can almost make I fill my cereal bowl which is like over two cups of excess oil whereas this ground turkey doesn't leave any excess oil um, at this stage when it's you know sort of cooking it's a little bit watery but when it's fully cooked it reabsorbs its water and there's no oil left so that's why I substitute with ground turkey and the turkey tacos are a better option for you than using ground now this is about half, I'd say half cooked. Once everything is browned, then I'm going to start seasoning. So I put a little bit of sea salt. You don't need a lot because, like I said, there's so many other flavors that you don't need to over season your meat. I put a little bit of garlic powder. I put chili powder, which makes to me, makes it nice and dark, kind of like taco seasoning. What do you think? I'm going to cook something without parsley? Obviously. Guys, I should buy sh shares or stocks in parsley because of how obsessed with it I am. And some Tabasco sauce because we like spice in this house. If you don't like spice, don't use it. It's not necessary, but it gives it that kind of um, nice Mexican y flavor when you have it spicy. So now I just mix all the flavors together. It's starting to smell delicious now. Now that I have the, the chili powder and the Tabasco, it, it almost smells exactly like taco seasoning. So to me, not necessary to buy them. What's the point? So yeah, I just keep mixing this around and I cook for another, I don't know, another five minutes. Now that the meat's almost done and it's just cooking on low on the stove, I'm gonna get my avocado ready. I um, do different things with my avocados. Uh, sometimes I just cut them in cubes, sometimes I cut them in slices, sometimes I smash it with some lime and salt and garlic powder to make a little guacamole, but I'm going to smash it this like this one without adding the extras because I don't have any lime today. And also because these are so perfectly ripe that it's just not necessary once everything's in the bowl, kind of get it started with a knife just so it's in smaller chunks and easier. And then I just get smashing away with my fork. And it takes just a couple of minutes. So now I just have to get my other ingredients ready. So my avocado's done. I'm going to use some lettuce wash it and chop it up 
You can use any lettuce you'd like. Um, sometimes I use spinach, uh, really any kind of lettuce you'd like. Um, I have my salsa ready. I have my sour cream ready. Some people use uh, Greek yogurt. That's a great healthy substitution. I personally don't like it, but if you do, great. I'm gonna use some cheddar cheese. And of course, I'm going to use tortillas. My favorite are Dempster's. I don't know if this brand is everywhere, but they're always so moist. They have um, whole wheat options, different kinds of options. Today I'm using white because that's my favorite. So, um, so now it's time to assemble and then eat. That was so quick. It took literally 15 minutes. So, um, there's no science. You can do it in any order. Actually, I'm going to put my lettuce down first. And I put a lot of that. Uh, like I said, you can use spinach for extra healthiness. So today I'm using romaine lettuce. I pour down my salsa in no particular pretty order. Um, put my taco meat, whatever meat you're using, which today is turkey. Then I put a good amount of sour cream. This sour cream is um, 30 calories for two tablespoons. So I'm going to put a good two tablespoons because I like it. And then you're going to put your guacamole or avocado if you like it. And then you're going to put your cheese if you like. And I use a fine grate when I want to get lots of coverage without eating too much cheese. That way it's not breaking off a lot but it's getting everywhere. Okay, this bad boy is humongo and I don't know if I'm going to be able to close it. So the way I close it is I look and see which side has more space. I'd say this side. So I bring up the bottom and I bring the other side over. And if this looks like it's going to leak, I'll tuck that in. And then the other side. And that's it. Ooh, it's starting to leak. And I'm ready to eat my taco. So let's see how this bad boy tastes. How yummy does this look? So I'm gonna count up the calories and see if I can eat one or two. Depends, I don't know. Oh my god. No words. Oh my god. So unattractive, but so yummy. I swear it's at. What am I? So that's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more recipes and more about my weight loss journey, please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram because I have another, I'd say, 50 pounds to lose. I'm not sure what my goal weight is. I'll know when I get there. And if you're there with me, then you'll know. I just want to finish the rest of my tacos. So see ya. Mwah.